what's good people of god what's good people of god i am in my little slash gaming slash studio um i want to bring this scripture um that the lord put in my spirit psalms 91 verses 1 through 6 and it's right here on the screen as you can see and it says he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and, un and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Uh, verse 5 says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flieth by day. Verse 6 says, Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. And what God put in my spirit today is that we have we are covered under the blood. Now more than ever, people of God, we have to get under the blood of Jesus Christ. Um, I will, as always, when I talk to my mother, I, um, she gives me gems of, um, wisdom and I thank God for the mother and aunts and cousins that I have in my life. I'm grateful for, for my family. I'm grateful for, um, the guidance that they've given us throughout the years. Even my grandmother, I look, pulled up a picture yesterday that I have, I keep on my phone and I thank my grandmother for the wisdom and the and the nuggets that she gave me, even as a child. I may not remember all everything that she's given me wisdom on, but a lot of it I do remember. And I thank God that I come from a family full of um, women that um, that walk up right before God, um, holy men and women of God. And I think you know I'm I'm just so grateful for that because. Our, our family dynamic is, is more spiritual than probably what we even realize it sometimes. And um, we don't, we all, we live all over, you know, we live all over the United States and everything, but we still have that spiritual connection. And I thank God for my family and my lineage and everything. And, um, and I just want to say to the people of God, get under the blood because um, it is so much darkness that's going on in this world. We need to be covered under the blood. That's and that was the title, um, or the thing that's really that really the, that the Lord put in my spirit is to get under the blood. Get under the blood. This scripture, you know, Psalms ninety-one one through six, explains that. You know, we have to be covered under the blood, and in order to be covered under the blood, we have to uh, give our lives to Jesus Christ dedicate our lives you know ask god for for uh for forgiveness ask him to forgive you of your sins and to get in the word of god to live to live um god knows we're not perfect you know because i say that all the time you know um that we're not perfect but he also said in his word that we serve a perfect god so get covered under the blood that way you will be protected against anything, any negativity, anything that the devil has set for you in your life. You will be protected from that because if you walk, if you're under the blood and under the wing of uh, Jesus Christ and our God, our, our creator, he will keep us protected. He really will. And this scripture, I love it. You know, um, in order for us to, to dwell in the secret place of the most high. To me, it means to have a personal relationship with God, to ask um, God to, you know, um, come into your life, ask Jesus Christ to come into your life and to, you know, ask him to forgive you for all your sins and, and live daily. You know, we have to crucify this flesh daily. I know that for a fact we have to crucify it daily. Um, and once you give your life to God and to Jesus Christ, and you seek his face, you know, be hungry for the word of God, because that's what I am. I'm hungry for the word of God. In the word of God, you find truth. In the word of God, you find salvation. In the word of God, you find peace. You find health. You find uh, everything that you can possibly think of. You find it in the word of God. But you have to be willing to give yourself to him willingly. You know, we all have free will. 
and everything, but um, he's the only one that can give us peace in these dark hours. He's the only one that can save our souls. Time is winding up, you know, and I know for a lot of us that grew up in Church of God in Christ, we've been hearing this all our lives, but you know what? Our, the people that taught us this were not lying. You know, uh, the Bible and the Word of God is not just a book. It's a way to live. It's a way to um, to make it in. I want the Lord to tell me on Judgment Day that um, that he won't turn me away. I want the Lord to tell me that it is well with my soul, that I did everything I was supposed to do on earth that he ordained me to do, and to not compromise, to walk upright, to live holy. The Lord is not going to tell us to do anything that we cannot do on this earth that he hasn't done himself. So strive to seek God's face. It's a daily walk with Jesus. It's a daily walk. So I just wanted to come through in my setting, you know, my little setting and everything, and um, let you know that read over Psalms 91, 1 through 6, whatever the Lord, whatever scriptures that, that, that God gives you, study that talk to God, ask him to give you understanding. And I, I guarantee you, he will give you understanding. Um, so I just wanted to come through you today. I'm having a wonderful weekend, keeping my face buried in the, in the word of God, because this is what feeds me spiritually. The word of God feeds me spiritually. So anyway, it's your girl, Miss K. Y'all have a blessed weekend. I'm out.